In today's video, we're going to try to test the idea that a dog's mouth has less germs in it than a human mouth. We have used some of these little bacteria farm agar dishes before. It's pretty fun to test they what bacteria grows. Yeah, it's yep. not the greatest smell in the world. <laughs> but today, I wanted to test a myth. The idea that a dog's mouth is actually cleaner than a human's mouth. Here's the basic idea. We've got some petri dishes full of agar, which should serve as a farm for bacteria. We want to test if the bacteria in a human's mouth is more prevalent or less than that of a dog's mouth. I've heard this pretty much my whole life. Yep. <laughs> I've also heard some people saying it's not true. Uh, and so we're gonna do a quick test. This is by no means an end all laboratory, double blind trial, any of that, but it is testing what kind of results we can get. Maybe test a few other things in the same experiment. For instance, we can also try a cat. I have heard that cat's mouths are actually particularly dirty. That they, I've heard that too. That they have a lot of like aggressive bacteria to the point that if a cat ever bites you and it breaks the skin, like if a cat bites you and it draws blood, you should just go to the hospital, like the emergency room, and tell them that you have a cat bite. My aunt almost lost her hand from cat bites. Now this wasn't wow. one quick little pinch. Uh, apparently it was a very angry cat, and in the process of taking it outside, it bit her hand like over and over. Heavy, powerful antibiotics kind of thing is what I was told. Um, it does work as almost a toxin to birds and small animals, and that's actually one of the ways that, that's one of the reasons that they lick their claws so much is it's, more that they're coating their claws in saliva to be used as a dual weapon. Fantastic. Gross. So what I think we can try is we can do some human saliva, we can do dog saliva, okay. and we can do cat saliva. And with all these, we'll just take a swab, rub it on the inside of the mouth, then oh. rub it on the agar, and then we'll let it sit in a warm room for three to five days to see what we have as a result. I like it. So we're gonna need some animals. We are. I know where we can find some. I want to do a swab of my mouth, put on the Petri dish. So this morning I had breakfast and then I chewed some like sugar-free gum, but that's about it. Okay. And what I wanna see is after I do the swab, if I like thoroughly brush my teeth everywhere and then use mouthwash properly and rinse everything out, I wanna see what kind of result I get then in terms of bacteria. Is it gonna okay. be different, the same? You know, what kind of bacteria are we killing here? I just think that could be fun. So a while back, uh, our boss Janae got uh, a few chickens for egg laying and uh, she allowed me to get one too to live in the coop with the rest of them. Uh, my bird's name is Henry, so I'm gonna see if I can catch Henry right now. Come here. Come on. Mmm, tasty grublies. So this is Henry. Henry lived in my apartment with me and the cats for about a day before she came out to live with the rest of the uh, the birds. <laughs> Thank Henry, you. Are you being disagreeable? <laughs> well, she's being more agreeable than she's gonna be in about five seconds. So you just go in at the very edge of their mouth. No, come here, you're okay. Thank you, thank you. You don't really have any saliva to speak of. You're such a good girl. Thank you, Henry, go eat your grubbies. Two of me, one of a chicken. Yep. Let's go get some other animals. Okay. We have some animals available to us here. <laughs> we, we're we borrowing my yeah. sister's animals and her house. Fine. She's over here, but she doesn't want to be on camera. No. Oh. <laughs> So Maya has been in a few of our previous videos. She's a wildlife conservationist and she's rescued a lot of animals. So right now she's got one cat and two fighting dogs in her kitchen. So that's what we're going to be swabbing. This is right. Knox and that's Dodger. They've decided it's time to wrestle. Yep. Okay, let's see. Knox, you're gonna be easiest, I think, cause you're just gonna lick this. Hi, hi, lick this. Really? Okay, I'm you just gonna- You gotta make it seem more appealing. Thank you. Good boy, you're done. That was the easy part. Now we have to do it with a cat? Yeah. Gus, remember how you like me? I babysat you once for three months. Hi. He did not like that. What? The three months? He came back fat. You love it. <laughs> and you come back fat. With an anxiety you did disorder. <laughs> Probably good. One second, need a little bit more. He loved it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Whoa. a really sorry. 
so a wild brother-in-law just showed up. He left. Go get him! Okay. Go get him! <laughs> yes! <laughs> she got it! I did. Now this we're gonna find out if I know how to spell my brother-in-law's name. Probably not. I don't. <laughs> R. Another R. Yeah. E. T. Another T. Okay, just be done. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! We've successfully swabbed the mouths of four, five, six creatures today. We've got two dogs, cat, chicken, human before cleaning, after cleaning, I guess before cleaning, after cleaning, and I wait, I don't know the state of Garrett's mouth, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> That's my brother-in-law, so it's only slightly concerning. <laughs> Hopefully good. So now we're just gonna take these in a warm room. Ideally, it'd be about the body temperature of you know a human or the animals that they live in. Uh, but we're just gonna put them in the utility room where it's kind of warm all the time. and The temperature doesn't fluctuate a whole lot, so we know it's no. not gonna get too cold. We'll just leave them there for three to five days and see what we've got. Well, we've let our Petri dishes sit for a bit, uh, and we've got some very real results here. Let's take a, let's take a look. So here we have yeah. me before washing, brushing my teeth and using mouthwash. Here is after. Here is Garrett, a human. Uh, here is Henry, a chicken, Knox, and Dodger, both dogs, and Gus, a cat. So let's take the lids off and get a better look what at what I'm we've got learning here. here is that I'm never holding Henry ever again. Chickens are apparently disgusting, at least inside their mouths. Fortunately, chickens have little to no habit of licking people, so that's nice. Really hard to do when you can't extend your tongue. I do think that our room was a little cooler than other times we've done it, just because of the time of year it is and what's going on in the utility closet. So we got some bacteria growth, really not much difference between before and after uh, my, my tooth brushing and mouth washing. So I'm just gonna assume that means my mouth is already pretty clean. And it looks like the same type of colonies as well. Yeah, we've got some tiny little white spots and then some slightly larger yellow spots. This is the part where the heebie-jeebies really hit me because we are zooming in on really gross things. There's a lot of stuff I can handle, you guys. Bacteria cultures, not one of them. So the white one there on the right, and then the yellow one looking kind of like an egg yolk, mm -hmm. which in reality is only one, maybe one and a half millimeters in diameter. Maybe a um, quarter the size of a pinhead. So while it's recording, just go straight to that one, the one on Garrett. Garrett had like Okay, they're about the same. Two spots of something yellow and like nothing else. Seems like Garrett's mouth also quite clean. Way to go, Garrett. My sister's gonna be so relieved. So now we yeah. get to a point without using the microscope, it is very clear there's a difference here. Well, we've got chicken right here. Mm -hmm. And that looks disgusting. Like if you say something looks like a petri dish, that's kind of what you're talking about right there. It is just what? covered in growth. They of all have several this yellow kinds. one, but Henry, what did you get into? It's like yellowish, greenish. There's orange spots and red spots and like some wider ranging like mold looking stuff. Got like some peach colored stuff over here. Some more fuzzy growth with some like darker red stuff growing on it. It's like rust colored. Like this is just nasty. Moving on to Knox. It's less total growth than Henry. It's less fuzzy, but look at the There's a good the variety of color. Yeah, we've got white, light yellow, darker yellow, a sort of peach color, a slightly white that darker orange. More. Yeah, like a bigger white. Oof. Um this, this very pinkish red and you can just kind of see going along the whole line of where the cotton swab went like you can just kind of see everywhere that the swab went there's something growing. Sometimes it's really little spots but just pretty much all of it. Dodger, slightly less of some of the colors, but it does have this one noticeable large fuzzy spot. Yep. Like this is the fuzziest fuzzy spot we have. All right, out take of a look all of at our this. tests. I bet that's from food or something. It's possible. It looks like food mold. And then we've got Gus the cat, mm -hmm. which actually looks quite a bit like Dodgers. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the white dots, a couple other colors, and then one just noticeable growth of with just fuzziness. Fuzz. All right. So in order of cleanliness, how would you how would you put these? Uh, well, I I don't know what makes the specific differences in you know, the different types of bacteria, but mm -hmm. on Garrett's dish, there, as far as I can see, there's like, there two. are the two <laughs> yellow dots, and I don't see anything else. Um, the two of mine, I really, Pretty you know, there's identical. really not much difference. Yeah. 
tiny yellow dots and some tiny white dots. Mm -hmm. So put those just tied just after Garrett. Okay. Gus the cat and Dodger the dog about tied. Mm -hmm. Knox, less total growth, but more variety. And then Henry the chicken coming Less in variety, at, but holy cow. I think there actually is a lot of variety. If you look up close, mm -hmm. you no, can actually you. see in between all oh. of the like green color, there's like several shades of yellow and white and orange yes, as also, well. Yes, also, we should zoom in on whatever the, that is. I, I don't want I to did. look I at got it. A, okay. I got a good microscope shot of that. That growth, that has, that's the one that has like the rust color red growth in it as well. Chicken mouths, absolutely full of bacteria. And, and what you have gross. to remember about Henry is there's less saliva in there. So it was literally just like a dry swab across Henry's I beak. Bet, I think the saliva actually helps the mouths be cleaner. I think it maybe, helps clean them out maybe. some. And so maybe chicken yeah. mouths, it just kind of doesn't get washed down as much, so it just grows. At any rate, I would call that myth busted wide open, mm -hmm. completely false. And I would say human mouths are cleaner than dog mouths. I'm gonna send some pictures to my sister. It's not gonna have her change the fact that she lets the dogs and the cats sleep in her bed, but one can hope. Guys, that was really gross, but you know we've always got fun content for you to see. And if you like this sort of stuff, remember to hit that button to subscribe so you never miss out on the fun. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then. Wash my hands. I didn't even touch anything.